Hallelujah. God bless you this day. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. God is good. And I want to talk a bit about 2 Chronicles 16. It's got one of my favorite scriptures in it, which I'll get to in a minute. But it talks about a king called King Asa of Judah and how he made an agreement with the enemy, King Ben-Hadad of Syria, the king of Syria. He sent him all his gold and silver from the treasury. And because of that, they were able to defeat these various cities that are listed. But he was confronted by a prophet, Hanani the seer came to Asa the king of Judah and said to him, Because you have relied on the king of Syria and have not relied on the Lord your God, therefore the army of the king of Syria has escaped from your hand. Were the Ethiopians and the Lubim not a huge army with very many chariots and horsemen? Yet because you relied on the Lord, he delivered them into your hand. Right? So they'd had these victories because they relied on the Lord. Yet now they were, you know, making this agreement with the enemy. And God wasn't pleased with that agreement. Right? And it says in verse 9, and this is my, one of my favorite scriptures, I've got it underlined. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong. On behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. Right? So God shows himself strong. He does. On behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. Not disloyal. And his eyes are scanning the whole world. Looking for people whose heart is loyal. Right? But he wasn't loyal. King Asa was not loyal. In this you have done foolishly. Therefore from now on. You shall have wars. As a consequence of this, you're going to have wars. And you read on, you know, you know, King Ace was angry with the seer and put him in, in prison. Right? It's not easy being a prophet sometimes. They, you know, they speak the truth and people don't necessarily want to hear that truth. You know, you look at things that happened to Jeremiah. But anyway, my point is... That God is looking for those whose heart is loyal towards him. 100% loyal. And he shows himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. Is your heart loyal towards him? Are you 100% dedicated to him? You know, your eyes, you know, you, you have your eyes set upon him. Because I tell you, he has his eyes on you. He loves you passionately. Do you love him passionately? You know, not looking to the left, not looking to the right, not having idols. Are you the same person in private as you are on Sunday amongst other believers? You know, are you, are you worldly one day when you're in the world at work and yet when you're on Sunday, you're all well behaved? Are you... You know, up to no good, looking at things for you, you shouldn't be looking at on the internet or, or doing stuff and grumbling in your heart. Are you 100% loyal towards the Lord? Because if you are, you know, he's blessed by that and he sees that and it says he shows himself strong. And he's looking for those who are absolutely 100% loyal towards him. Not people who make agreements with the enemy you know the enemy that comes to steal to kill and destroy they're not you know into things they shouldn't be but things from the enemy's camp right so praise the lord the lord shows himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him god bless you heaps i hope you're having a beautiful day but i just love that passage in 2 chronicles 16 verse 9 Keep your heart right before the Lord. Don't be a different person on different days or when you're in secret. You know, be that person whose heart is loyal towards the Lord. He sees what we do in secret. He sees when we're spending time reading his word and praying. He sees that and he's blessed by it. 
He loves you very much. God bless you heaps. Hallelujah.